At least one educator is warning parents not to push their children to men for financial gains. Speaking at an award ceremony in Manchester recently, a senior lecturer at the church at the church's teachers' college urged parents to clean up their acts. TVJ's Kalisha Williams explains. An award ceremony for CSEC students turned heated. Young girls, you are not ready for sex yet. Cut it out. The guest speaker, Adesua Omeregi, was in a fiery mode as she addressed dozens of CSEC awardees in Manchester on Thursday. Set your goals. What do I want to become in the next five years? What do I want to become in the next ten years? Parents, don't push them to men and push them to boys because of the financial benefit. When they are educated, they can take care of themselves and take care of you. She challenged parents to give more support to children moving on to high school. That aside, she questioned the wisdom of parents attacking school officials when children are penalized. When our children are spoken to, you are ready to go to the school and beat up the teacher and fix the business. You need to cut it out, parents. Then, another warning for parents. It takes a village to train up a child. You cannot do it alone. His when things now become bad, then you want everybody to help you. If you cannot bend them now that they are growing up, you see when a tree is growing and you cannot bend the tree, by the time it's solidified, you cannot bend the tree. This is the right time. In the meantime, although the recent CSEC results showed marginal to significant improvements, concerns were also raised about students who did not pass a single exam. We're looking at the 11,000 students across the Caribbean who did not get a subject. And I would want to get from our Ministry of Education a disaggregation of the number of students in Jamaica here who did not pass a subject. And we would we want to find out what are the reasons. Over $3.5 million worth of scholarships and grants were awarded to students by the Manchester Plateau Community Council, Benevolent Society, and JISCO All Part Jamaica. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.